Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. I'm Dimitris Kusanidis. I am a marine scientist and data analyst. Uh, I collaborate with the Institute of Applied and Computational Mathematics of the Foundation for Research and Technology in Greece. We are based in Iraq and in Crete. Today, with uh, my colleague, or Elisa Firo from here, they are mapping solutions and spirit of the Flacos from the German Aerospace Center. We will present the chapter 8.2.2 about bathing habitats. A short outline about how we will do our decent presentation to be helpful for everybody. We will have a chapter overview what are the bathing habitats and how can Google Earth Engine provide insights for better monitoring and assessment of the status about the theory that is behind the development how the estimation of water depth and mapping of bathing habitats with planet data have been achieved and it will follow the practicum spirit on will, will guideline all the practicum with the help of orally The goal is to understand the basic workflow of preparing the data for an embedding habitat supervised classification and a satellite derived bathymetry. These two outputs of the work are quite critical for conservation, activities of coastal marine systems, for safe navigation, for spatial maritime planning, and other important aspects of the coastal marine life. Uh, since it is under the seek of climate change and urbanization, and uh, coral reefs, mangroves, and sea grasses are among the most critical habitats in the coastal zone that we slowly lost them in a lot of regions of the globe. The learning outcomes will be the separation of the land from the water with a supervised classification in order to focus on the marine coastal system, remove the surface sandland and the wetland that, let's say, pollute our images and prevent to have better results, to correct for water depth, to derive bottom surface reflectance through regression approach, to identify and classify bathing habitats using machine learning that are available in Google Earth Engine, to develop regression models to estimate the water depth using training data, and in the end, to evaluate with training data and perform the model accuracy. Please assume that you have already go through the previous chapters about how to import images and image collections, filter and visualize these, perform some basic image analysis, which bands to select, compute some indices, create masks, classify images, Use normalized difference to calculate vegetation indices. Use drawing tools to create points, lines, and polygons as part of the so called annotation data to perform some analysis. Perform a supervised random forest image classification. Obtain accuracy metrics from classifications. Use the reducers to implement linear regressions between image bands. Filter a feature collection to obtain a subset. And have the ability to convert between raster and vector data. Behind that, let's go for the short theory. What are betting habitats and how can Google Earth Engine provide insights for better monitoring and about the estimation of water depth and mapping of betting habitats? Betting habitats, and here we will focus mostly on seagrass, uh, are almost the most productive habitats in the coastal zone. We live in Mediterranean here, and Posidonia sinica is the most proliferated seagrass species that we found in the coastal zone, and provides several ecosystem services and functions. Among them, we have select that the water oxygenation and nutrient provision keep in balance the water quality. It stabilizes the seafloor and the beach since due to severe storm and the climate crisis, we have a lot of coastal erosion. It's among the most critical habitats in the coastal zone for carbon burial, since it is act as a blue carbon ecosystem and is 
can be used as a climate change mitigation tool uh, under the national determined contributions of several countries and slowly it is part of each country's uh, NDCs. And for the coastal communities, it is a nursery area and a refugee for commercial and dynamic species. That means that a lot of fisheries really on the health and the occurrence of such meadows in order to have catches to feed the families and be part of their income uh, across Mediterranean and beyond, where other seagrass species occur. 